today I'm going to talk about my go bag. It's an emergency kit or a bug out bag. You can call it whatever you want, but I keep this in the back of my vehicle. There it is. I can put it over my shoulder and take it. And I've used it a few times. Yesterday I went to a barbecue and they were getting ready to uh, light the charcoal at the state park. And they said, who's got matches? And nobody had matches, but I did. I had them in here. So what's in here? I've got matches, I've got lighters, I've got a knife, I've got extra clothes, I have some food. I'll show it to you in a minute. My go bag. The go bag isn't something that I use every day, but it's in my car and it gives me a good feeling that I'm ready if something happens. In Boy Scouts, the motto is be prepared. So I am prepared. So let's show you what's inside of here. I have a can of cashew nuts. So this is nice because it's easy. It's not going to get um, melted. And I have connections to the military. I have an MRE here. That's food. These things last for years. And this is something that lasts a long time too, beef jerky. It's simple, it's all sealed up. You can keep that in there for a while. I have a wool hat. If you're out there on a cold day, keeping your head warm can make a big difference. Wool hat, government issue from the US Navy. Got an extra t-shirt. I have a long sleeve shirt. This is a rain suit. There's rain pants and a rain coat. From the dollar store, I got a dollar poncho. From the dollar store, I have a pocket knife. In my pocket all the time, I'm carrying my Swiss Army knife. That's a good one. That's a dollar one. From the dollar store, I have some rope. Many uses. From the dollar store, an emergency blanket. From the grocery store, a can of Spam. This stuff lasts for years. The expiration date on this is 2024, so I got about another three years to use that. This is from the dollar store, steel wool. If you have to use flint and steel to make a spark, steel wool can actually make a nice fire. I got some extra clothes in there. Sunscreen lotion. Sometimes people are stuck out in the middle of nowhere and they end up getting sunburned, so I'm ready for that. I have a pair of gloves. You're doing some work out there, you never know what's gonna happen. Bandana, a million uses for a bandana. Cover up your head, cover up your face, cover up your neck. You can use it for a lot of different stuff. I have a, a emergency first aid kit. This came from a, a drugstore. Bunch of stuff in there. Matches, these are the, the old fashioned kitchen matches. You strike them. I got matches right here. Fire. And I don't know why I got that, but I've got it. And in this container over here, more sunscreen, I'm ready. Uh, this is a waterproof matches container. If it gets wet, this thing is sealed. So there's only a few in there. And I put the striker, I took a striker off of a different box. Um, so if that box gets soaked, I got a backup. I got more rope. Over here is a P-38. This is a, a government issue, Army, Navy, Marines. It's a can opener. And then here is some folding scissors. Look at those little guys. And then this is the, uh, a knife sharpener. And it's also got a striker if you have to do the flint and steel thing to make your fire. So those are some good items in there. What else? This is a dollar store special. It's a multi-tool. It says you got can opener, knife sharpener, screwdriver, ruler, bottle opener, four position wrench, butterfly wrench, saw blade, and a two position wrench and a lanyard hole. So I've got that. I have some glow sticks. Those came from the dollar store. And I have a Sharpie. So I try to have all kinds of stuff that I'm prepared for things that happen. This came from the dollar store too. Uh, Duraflame, fire start. So I didn't spend a lot of money on this. You know, I was on the internet and some people were selling pre-packed go bags. 
and those go bags were very expensive and they had all kinds of uh, freeze-dried food and one of them had a 22 rifle and ammunition and some of them were like a thousand dollars but I don't think you have to spend a thousand dollars so one time I was stuck in traffic I, I was driving in home in the countryside and there was a tree across the road and I was like uh oh can't go any further so I turned around and I got on a side road I, I knew a, a different route around and that one had a tree branch around it so I went back to where I started and I had to wait uh, three hours for the tree guys to come and cut that down while I was waiting three hours I got hungry and guess what I had some cashews and I had some beef jerky and I always have water in my car so if you pack up your go bag you'll be ready to survive when other people don't and even if you never use it it gives you the peace of mind that you are ready you're going to be ready if something bad happens you can just if you get stuck in the middle of nowhere you got your bag and you're ready so that's what we have we got our first aid kit we got our go bag and we're ready for whatever happens be prepared